Hey, Grace Point Church. I am here again at 32 Washington Boulevard because I am so proud of you. I am so thankful to see what God has done in our community in the last few weeks. Um, I have seen us go into helping mode and I just want to praise God for a minute about that um, because there are other modes for people to be in. Um, I, I, I'm even thinking about at the beginning of this year, I remember when uh, Tim and uh, Susan and the Benevolence team, when Daryl was on that team, they made a recommendation for taking a step of faith and putting a budget line item in our budget for this, this year, 2024, a line item that had not been there before. And we were calling it um, community care and we're making a significant faith jump to say we want to be a part of caring for our community, helping our community. And so let's put some, some commitment in, in the budget for it and let's see what God does. Tim and Susan have been doing phenomenal work uh, helping many people in the community already in 2024. We are seeing a fruit of that labor. I know that uh, you all have a generous heart. And so the question has been, how do we connect the generosity of our people to the real needs of our community? You guys know that's important to me. I know that's important to you. So how can we creatively be for the community and reach out and... Uh, I have seen that happening over these last few weeks with, with the devastation of this building right behind me. Um, there have been families who have been displaced and um, over the last few weeks we've been able to resource in all sorts of ways, uh, not just with our wallets but with our time, with our talents. And uh, just yesterday we had a whole group of people, we had a crew uh, helping a family here who, who are displaced and are gonna be looking for a new home. We helped them unload their uh, their apartment and then uh, we loaded it up into a big U-Haul and then now we've got it in storage. It was, it was an all day affair, um, but I saw um, a few of you show up and we worked together and we got it done all in one day. I am praising God. We want to help the community. I love what I'm seeing. I wonder, how we can continue to do that. You know what, helping is very different than hoarding. Uh, helping is very different than hoarding. A hoarding mentality is when we, and we're all tempted towards hoarding, like it's like a human phenomenon, um, but it's when we take things for ourselves. Um, sometimes it's tempting to hoard my money and all the money that I have, I wanna hoard for myself. Um, Sometimes I want to hoard my time, right? All the time that I have, because time is, you know, I don't have a lot of time. Any time that I do have, I'm going to hoard for myself. I remember um, being uh, a teenager and, and wanting to hoard popularity. And the, I just wanted to be more and more popular and get to know more and more people. And there was no end to it. I remember hoarding sports. And I just love sports. And the more sports I did, the more I wanted to do. The problem with hoarding, even good things, is that um, there's no end to it. Either we don't have the resources to hoard what we want and we're always upset that we, we, we didn't get what we wanted, or we do have the resources to hoard what we want, but then there's always something else that we want. And so it's like a hamster wheel and it never ends and it never brings true joy. Hoarding is when we take our time, our talents, our treasure, and we hoard it for ourselves. But the church is not meant to be a hoarding community. <laughs> it's meant to be a helping community. I heard one theologian say the church is the only organization in the whole wide world who exists for someone other than itself. We exist for God's kingdom. We exist for the world. And so everything that we do, all of our teaching, all of our trainings, all of our resources, all of our building, everything that we have is not meant just for us, but it's meant for the community. And so I am constantly praying against the temptation of hoarding. Um, in my own heart, sometimes I want to hoard and sometimes you want to hoard. But, but when God does a reset, when he does a new thing, in us, then we get out of that hoarding mentality. And we begin to get into the helping mentality. And we might not be done yet. Um, the, the big question here for a lot of the families is where am I going? 
what's my housing situation going to be next? Would you continue to keep these families in prayer because we don't know? We've got a lot of questions, not a ton of answers, and there's going to be some challenges along the road. So uh, Grace Point, I just want to thank you for your heart of generosity. I want to thank you for the way that you are resourcing God's people. I want to thank the people who are coming alongside. And I, I just want to, I just, I'm proud of you. I I'm, I'm just want to praise God because of what he's doing. Um, it's exciting to be a part of helping our community. And I don't want us to be done yet. So let's continue the work. Let's be helpers, not hoarders.